Hi, my name is Fuzum Tlan. Today I'll show you how to calculate NDVI in ArcMap software. So in ArcMap software, there are different methods to calculate uh, NDVI. So today I'll show you how to calculate this NDVI in different methods. But in order to calculate NDVI, you need a Landsat image. And you can calculate NDVI by using of any Landsat image, whether it is Landsat 7 or Landsat 8. But you need uh, band 3 and band 4 for Landsat 7 and then band 5 and band 4 for Landsat 8. So today I'll show you how to calculate how to calculate NDVI from Landsat 8 from Landsat 8. So as I have told you before, for Landsat 8, we need band 5 and band 4. Band 5 is near infrared band and band 4 is red band. So if you have these two bands, you can calculate NDVI by using different meters. So I'll show you all the meters today. <coughs> so the first method is go to Arc Toolbox and then look for special and analysis tools then expand that then go to map algebra then expand that then you'll get raster calculator but for some of you it may be difficult to get a raster calculator from our toolbox so if it is difficult for you to find raster calculator from our toolbox go to search and type raster calculator and hit enter then you'll get any tool if you write the tool here you can find it you don't need to search it so you don't need to look here in our toolbox only if you type the name in the search you can get it so double click on the raster calculator then go to float double click on float so NDVI is land 4, band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So do the same, band 5 minus band 4, near infrared red band minus red band divided by, click the float again, near infrared red band plus red band. Then give it name. I think I have ndvi already so i'll give it different name let me call it ndvi1 then hit enter so this is the first method to calculate ndvi so here we have ndvi we have a value range from 0 0.25 and 52 to minus 0 0.13 so this is the first method to calculate NDVI in ArcMap software. The second method is go to window in main menu, go to windows, then click on image analysis. Go to image analysis. Go to image analysis, then check or select these two, these two bands. And then go to here. There is a button here on the top left part. Then red band is three, infrared band is four. So you have to correct this one. For Landsat eight, red band is four, infrared band is five. So do the same plus both use wavelengths and the scientific output is checked in. So uncheck this one and check this one scientific output then click ok then here on image analysis in the processing part here on the bottom processing part you will see a leaf kind of button it says NDVI so click on that so you will get your NDVI so this is our NDVI.
this is our second in PPI so it has this values so this these are the methods to calculate NDVI in Atmaf software so you can go to this NDVI and the properties then you can change the color you can change the color and check this one so this one is our NDVI as you see from here we have different colors the dark green one is the one with the highest NDVI and the light green one has the lowest NDVI so you can interpret in this way by the way for NDVI you can use it for different purpose if you going to classify your image if you are going to do land use land cover you can use it to recognize or to identify a vegetations or any vegetations it may be forest or crop and you can use it for precision farming if you have a farming if you have a farm if you want to identify the the vegetation or crop with a problem you can do NDVI so if you see any crop with low NDVI so there is a problem so you have to go there and identify the problem but if your NDVI is good you don't need to do anything because your crop is in a good status so you can use it NDVI for different purpose as I've told you before for image classification and for precision farming thank you for listening if you have any question you can ask me in a comment segment thank you